Hello, welcome to a new episode of Journey to the Chateau. This week it's about the floors of the, well, when you look at it, the right wing of the Chateau upper, and it's spring. It's gorgeous, and we have a few things from the Bougon. Bonsoir tout le monde, bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Colombe. Und nun zu unseren Freunden auf dem deutschsprachigen Raum. Uh, es geht um die Böden im uh, oberen Stockwerk und ein bisschen Bokant und es ist Frühling. Right, so, uh, so recently, uh, just a little recap, recently we had Brad from Parfait Parquet, yep. who was here to do some of our first floor wood floors yes. in the Chateau. And he was recommended to us by Terry Nash from Escape to the Dream. Yep. Working on the floors, doing a fantastic job. Yeah. Uh, basically dust free. Uh, that, the whole thing. That's astounding. Truly. Yeah. All the work and sanding they were doing, and you did not even know that anything was even going on. Uh, no, although you could hear it because it's quite loud. <laughs> well, um, when it was right above here. Of course, yeah. that, you know, it's like uh, um, extremely accentuating the noise, but no dust. The floors look beautiful. Have a look how this turned out.
Good afternoon. So this is our finished project. This is our palier that we started on Monday. This has been gap filled, leading into through the small new enclosure for the bathroom, leading into our shell room. So remember, these floors are not oiled. These floors are being brush finished and our clients will be applying the oil to them, which we've just gone over with them for their oiling process, because not all of our clients want us to finish their floors. They just want the technical job of restoring them. You can see our window repair here. We've done another small repair here on the floor. And this is our shell room finished going through to our bureau. From our bureau, we then go into one of the smaller bedrooms. This room's now waiting to be decorated. Looking back through those doorways into the shell floor. Then we come onto our small landing and then through to our guest bedroom. All the floors are oak and the floors haven't been gap filled in this area because of the age. Our clients wanted to keep that original feel to the floor and not make the floors look like they were brand new. You can hear some of the creaks and twists in the floor as I'm walking across the floors. We'll end back in the shell room. And you'll be able to watch the video before the work was done. So you can see the standard that we've worked to. And that is our finished project. So it's now time to pack our tools and head home. Thanks for watching. There was one piece of parquet that was uh, oak, and I don't know why, so it said, what, was it more delicious than any of the other things? It had a lot of little uh, uh, woodworm holes yes. in it. But it, so that was a replacement. I don't know why anyone um, 100, 150 years ago would put a, a woodworm eaten replacement piece of parquet in it. No idea. No Anyways. idea. Any, but but <laughs> but Brad had looked at it and he said this was not the original piece of wood. This no. is a piece that somebody put in as a replacement, and for some reason they actually put. How a, bad must must that piece have been? The, the selection <laughs> must have been bad. How <laughs> anyway. bad was that piece that was in there? Maybe it was a hole. Oh, it had to have been worse than the wood. Uh, yeah, you're right. So just say I, I don't know. So we uh, when we took out the uh, partition wall between the alcove and the bathroom we have these 400 year old pieces of oak and so they took that piece and uh of, of a plank of huge plank of wood and used other pieces of that that was the one that had the least wallpaper on it mm -hmm. and cut it to piece uh, to 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 size for a replacement of a few other pieces as well but it was really fascinating how that went absolutely and when he was done that was such a beautiful piece of wood <laughs> that is now part of the flooring on our upper landing yep yeah. yeah so we wanted to make sure we thank brad yes uh he did a fantastic job brad from parfait parquet yes he did a fantastic job uh and uh the next step oh for us yes, yes of course because they're not finished <laughs> <laughs> of course. So the floors are not. The floors are not. Brad finished. is finished, but the floors are not. So oh, right. Uh, we are kept waiting for uh, Gilboy's oil finish since it's been. It's not oil. It's not you know. It's linseed oil finish to uh, seal the floors, and then we can actually start putting things in and. Welcome our first guests very soon. Right. And we are, we're sort of looking forward to getting that done. Uh, it was quite nice of Brad to uh, actually demonstrate for us. Yes. What we needed to do to do the finishing ourselves. 
uh, hello. <laughs> uh, so I actually had filmed a little bit of video. Yes. So that when we actually get the oil for the floors, that we know exactly what to do. He gave us a great demonstration yes. of exactly how to finish those floors. Yes, we, we need the instructions. I mean, right. so, so hopefully we will be able to get that soon and then yep. we can finish the floors. Absolutely. Hello again, everyone. It is a beautiful sunny day here at the Chateau and it is officially spring. One of the things that we wanted to get done, which we haven't done yet, is we wanted to get some of our seed starters going in our little greenhouses. And so that's what Patrick is working on today. I stole the time from somewhere else, but need to be done. Hello. Hello. It is lovely in the sun. I'm actually, I moved from there now to here because of the sun. The sun moved around, <laughs> yes. So yes, I've got, that little mini greenhouse right done. yeah this one you've already been working on it's already completed this morning have some nice plantings already going on inside of there to start out and what sort of things are there that you planted this morning do you remember there? yeah uh, there are quite a few sweet peas uh, but everything else in there is uh, vegetables, so pumpkins, tomatoes, uh, hot peppers, uh, I think I have six or seven different uh, pumpkin varieties. Um, and I don't have any, didn't plant any gourds or anything that is only decorative, mm -hmm. which I planned on doing, but I forgot to buy the seeds, so didn't happen. Ah, right. Um, yeah, in, in here I have six different um pots with or three and three with um cooking pumpkins one is a pumpkin from uh, provence and it looks just so pretty hold on i need to show you uh it's this one let me hold that in the camera it's very very pretty and this is an uh japanese pumpkin that makes fantastic soups very that nice. even i like or love even. uh it's courgettes, butternut squash, and right now, which you don't have to pre-grow beans, but I'm going to do it anyways, because um, I'm going to put them under a uh, sheet, so they're going to be protected. If we have a very light frost eventually, they will survive. Yeah. And so, here you can see these are some of the, one, the ones that you already did in the little pots, which are now blooming. Yes, they're going to go into the salon soon. So, and the kitchen, I mean, we, I know the kitchen is the workspace and that's true, but it's always nice to have some pretty stuff in there too. And why not is what I say. That's right. <laughs> okay. I will let you get back to Thank it. Thank you. Yes. Well, I didn't even stop. So there, live with that. Pre-planting a little, little late. We're not out of the woods yet here with possible frost till April. So I have six weeks for things to germinate. Um, sweet peas, absolutely wonderful flowers. The colors are fantastic. And I put sweet peas, and that might be odd for some people. So I'm keeping, um, the ins innards of uh, toilet paper and uh, paper towels, cut them and put them in it. Uh, sweet peas have incredibly long dangly roots and these are taller than normal pots. And so this is much better for, for them. So hence I'm putting them in right in here. So I catalog mine with XL for extra tall, uh, L and then small, they come some are just only like 20, like, I don't know, like this tall. And, um, you know, this is um, extremely tall uh, and I can't wait to see them bloom. Anyway, so I'm gonna start now and I put, I like to put different heights and varieties in one pot and then plant them so they, uh, I have more variety then. 
and starting that right now. Raw. So right now we have so many flowers, it's fantastic. I mean, really lovely. And quite a, a lot of them we actually planted last year or mm -hmm. cousin Angela did. Right, all the tulips, yes, yes beautiful. The tulips. Mm -hmm. These um, were, were here and we are making sure that we have, um, some of our, our viewers send us uh, wildflower seeds mm -hmm. and there are a lot of puppies in it. And so um, great mixes for pollinators. So we are going to put these out in the back of the chateau, which is this way, right? <laughs> so we have plenty more flowers for bees and bumblebees and butterflies. So that, that's fantastic. And we did go to a Bocong a couple of weeks ago and we, we just, uh, what was with Martin, right? Uh, when he was here, but we never showed what we got in these, these copper pots. They're adorable. And um, for next year, we are planning on having actually cooking weekends here at the Chateau, French cooking, French patisserie. Uh, so we need needed more pots because we don't have enough copper. That's a whole lie. So, but anyway, so we have, uh, but for prep in preparation for next year, we, um, I couldn't help myself. Right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, so, we are um, in full spring mode, mm -hmm. and it's really, really lovely here. Right, and this uh, one other thing that you got, you want to mention this out, uh, the, the, the mortar and pestle? That was from a Bocong. Yes, and, and, you, and you have been looking for that. Oh. So, strangest thing is that we went to a Brocant specifically with a list of things we were looking for. We didn't get anything uh, from no, the list. No, we did not. But the funny thing was, is that uh, when we start, it is interesting that when we start looking for something and we don't find it, and then suddenly we go to a brocant, and then suddenly like every other table has it. Oh, right? yeah, I like 10 of them. That was, <laughs> I don't know why that happens. It's just. In any case, so this is very old. It's uh, marble. It's mm -hmm. hand carved. Yeah. I can hit people with it, which I won't, but, uh, oh, good grief. <laughs> and it was ridiculously cheap mm -hmm. and so now you finally have it yes right? right so pesto we're safe for pesto this this uh summer okay yes so that's it for this episode if, if you like please give it a thumbs up <laughs> sorry <laughs> um subscribe good grief never mind yeah subscribe that's it <laughs> it, it, it was a, it was a long day but subscribe Recommend us to your friends and family. That really helps us tremendously. And we really appreciate all your help. And if you want to support the renovation of the Chateau, you can always join us on Patreon. Or buy us a coffee. Right. And we will see you on Wednesday. And forgive me for laughing so much. <laughs> Au revoir. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>